In today's video, I'm going to be comparing two noise suppression plugins. One is completely free and the other one comes with a price tag. I'll be comparing these plugins based on three things. Sound quality, CPU usage and features. So this is my mix right here. I've already cut out some of the stuff. There's something that I had in this mix that made me try to look for a noise suppression plugin. So already I've got the Clarity VX by Waves. I was trying to work around that, but then I tried a free plugin, which is what I ended up settling for. Right here, if I push this all the way this side, I've got this background noise here. So that's the background noise I was trying to get rid of. So I'll simply just cut this part, make sure that I only have the background noise left. So the first plugin that I'm going to start with is the free plugin. I'll switch on the free plugin right here. So how you use this plugin is by selecting a noise profile. So this is the noise profile only. Click on Learn and just play. The plugin will identify the noise profile. And if I apply these settings on this vocal, it will only be eliminating the noise profile. So let me just play this. I'll just click that. So now I need to play around with the threshold right here. the noise disappears when I push the threshold. When I switch off the plugin, when I switch it on, all right, so before we test what it sounds like on the vocal, let me also put in the paid plugin. So I'll simply bypass this for now, then switch on Clarity VX. I'm also going to push this knob. So the noise disappears also. So the way this plugin works is instead of having this lane button where it lends the noise profile, it uses what is called neural network right here. So what the neural network does is that it identifies background noise from any type of uh, audio material and basically just eliminates it from there. Now what I'm going to do is try to listen to what each plugin sounds like on the vocal. We'll start with the this one right here. Shut up your mouth, boy. You're law abiding. I told you, shut your mouth and that hoe you're riding. Back on you in the head, you just toss like Biden. I'm the real president. Have respect in my den. Back in the day, they used to think they could bully me. Nowadays, some people and they fully don't bother me. There isn't much of a difference between the original vocal and what we get after the denoiser here. So, this is the vocal with the denoiser. Shut up your mouth, boy. You're law abiding. I told you, shut your mouth and that hoe you're riding. This is without it. Shut up your mouth, boy. You're law abiding. I told you, shut your mouth and that hoe you're riding. So the texture of the vocal still maintains when it comes to this plugin here, which is something that I like. So I'll simply bypass this and put the Clarity VX. Let's listen to what it does to our vocal. Shut up your mouth, boy. You're law abiding. And that hoe you So from here, already we can see the glitching, meaning it uses a lot of CPU. Like Biden, I'm back in the day, they used to think they could bully me nowadays. Some people and they fully don't bother me. Shut up your mouth, boy. You're law abiding. I told you, shut your mouth and that hoe you're riding. Back on you in the head, you just toss like Biden. I'm the real president. Have respect in my den. When we use the clarity, it takes away some of the, the brightness in the vocal as compared to the free plugin that we had. But again, when you come to the Clarity VX here, the goodness about the plugin is that you can go to advanced controls, which is something that this plugin doesn't have here. So it only has what you can see here. But for this one here, you can choose how much you affect any of these frequencies here. So if I listen to this vocal, uh, some of the high frequencies have been dealt with a lot, which is making the vocal become a little bit darker. So so what I'll do is reduce the processing on the high frequencies. Shut up your mouth, boy. You're law abiding. I told you, shut your mouth and that hoe you're riding. Or even just bypass it if I want to. You're law abiding. I told you, shut your mouth and that hoe you're riding. Back on you in the head, just toss like Biden. I'm the real president. Have respect. So you can see the glitching from the, the amount of CPU being used. For me to be able to play this sound, what I'll do is uh, minimize the plugin. Shut up your mouth, boy. You're law abiding. I told you, shut your mouth and that hoe you're riding. Back on you in the head, you just toss like Biden. I'm the real president. Have respect in my den. Back in the day, they used to think they could bully me nowadays. So, so you can see, after bypassing the, the high frequency here, I can get the vocal just as natural as it was. There are a lot of other processings here, which is something that you can't find on the free plugin here. So this is pretty much up to you. You can choose which one you want to choose. So in today's mix, I was actually moving really fast i needed something that could take out the noise as fast as i can 
without doing much. So I settled for the free plugin here. Shut up your mouth, boy, you know I'm Biden. I told you, shut your mouth and that hoe you're riding. Back bang you on the head, you just toss like Biden. I'm the real president, have respect in my den. Back in the day, they used to think they could me. Nowadays, some people and they fully don't bother me. So one of the only advantages of this plugin right here is that from the get-go, I can really get a sound quality that I really like. I'm able to choose how much CPU usage from this list right here. All right, so in conclusion, both these plugins are really good when it comes to getting rid of the noise. However, the paid plugin comes with a lot more functionalities to just like help you design the way you want to get rid of the noise. I think the only disadvantage that I found from the paid plugin is the CPU usage. It uses a lot of CPU because this is just one instance. Imagine a situation where I add like four, five, six instances of this plugin. If you've got a bigger CPU, something that can really handle this, then you're good to go. All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'll leave the link in the description to all the plugins. You can go and check them out. My name is Che. See you in the next video. Peace.